Today we are making apple cake. So you're going to start by peeling six Granny Smith apples or any other apple that you prefer to bake with. It's these green ones here. Um, so I have six of them. It's a total of four cups. I peeled them and I cut them into wedges like this. And you're going to add five tablespoons of white granulated sugar and three tablespoons of ground cinnamon. And I'm just going to mix that together and let it stand. So I just want to show you what it looks like once I've tossed the apples with the sugar and cinnamon and you just let them stand while you mix the rest of your ingredients. And here I have a bundt pan which I have uh, sprayed with cooking spray and floured and I shook out the excess flour. And you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So now in a separate bowl I have three cups of flour. And I'm going to add a cup and a half of white granulated sugar. The recipe calls for two cups but I'm going to cut back on the sugar a little bit but you can certainly use two cups if you want to. And then I have three teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to whisk the dry ingredients together and then I'll show you the rest of the recipe. Okay, so we're going to add one cup of vegetable oil. You don't want to use olive oil because that's a little bit too much flavor for cake, uh, but vegetable oil, corn oil. This is a half a cup of orange juice. You can use fresh squeezed or store-bought your choice. And then I have four eggs. And then I have a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract and two teaspoons of almond extract. And I'm just going to mix that all together and then I'll show you the next step. Just want to whisk it together until all the ingredients are incorporated. You don't have to whip it or anything. You can certainly do it by hand. It's very easy. This is such an easy cake. And now I'm just going to add that apple mixture with the cinnamon and sugar in here. And I'm going to scrape the cinnamon out of here off camera. But basically you're just going to stir that all together and then we're going to pour it into our pan and put it into the oven to bake for an hour and a half. Okay, so this is what it looks like before I put it in. I gave it like a whack against the counter to get the air bubbles out and get it kind of even. And now I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay guys, so here it is, our finished product, apple cake. It's super easy. It's one of the first cakes that I ever baked. And I hope you guys enjoy. Good luck.